This is Valley News Live at 5. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really surprised they don't have better security. New developments late this afternoon. Fargo police released two surveillance pictures of the suspect they believe broke into the Roger Maris Museum early Tuesday. Thank you for joining us tonight. Fargo police point out that there's a patch on the left shoulder of the suspect's shirt or jacket and no patch on the right one. It was just before 3 a.m. that this person broke into the mall, then the museum exhibit, stealing an MVP plaque and the S. Ray Hickok belt. Mall officials report today they have a guard stationed 24 7 outside exhibits and they're exploring new long term security measures. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric asks the question Does there need to be more security around such high value items? Someone stole a piece of Fargo, smashing into the West Acres Mall and making off with a Roger Maris MVP plaque and the S. Ray Hickok Award. Security of a building is only going to keep somebody out for so long, depending on how willing they are to get inside. So. Uh, it's, it, it just depends on how tenacious they are and how, how badly they want something that they're after. So I guess why wouldn't somebody want to steal that? I mean, it's a weird item to steal, but maybe I watch too much TV, but that always seems to be the kind of thing people go for. And with mall officials reporting upwards of six and a half to seven million people a year flowing past the exhibits, it's a wonder to some that there haven't been more issues in the more than three decades the memorabilia have been displayed. That's a lot of people. So if you get one bad guy out of a million people, you get seven bad guys in a year. Jeremy Halderman owns Cardboard Kings in Moorhead, showcasing a number of Roger Maris cards. They essentially not only stole from the Maris family and from the mall, they stole from you, they stole from me, they stole from her, they stole from everybody in Fargo Moorhead. You know, and I'm sure it's now going to change the experience out there at the mall. You know, you're probably going to walk by and there's probably going to be a security guard now every time you walk by. You know, it's, it's just sad. It's, it's really sickening. It's frustrating. Alderman says while it might be worth tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars monetarily, there's no price tag for the pride factor felt by many in the FM community. He adds it's not just law enforcement on high alert. Anybody in the industry now, when you buy anything like that, you know, whether it be a, a ball or a jersey or a hat or a bat, is going to ask for a letter of provenance anybody really? you know so they're going to want to know where you got it from how much you paid for it who you got it from full nine yards that thing is it's blacklisted now forever you'd never ever be able to sell that thing bradford eric valley news live the fbi says they're not involved in the investigation at this time but they are ready to help if needed